Hello, this is Dr. Barbara Jennison, and I'm with Women of the Spirit Ministries International. Chosen, chosen to be significant, to be significant, chosen to be so important to God. I wanted to say something to you today concerning Scripture. Scriptures are a wonderful thing. If you use scriptures, you will be successful, and you will, uh, you will gain insight and have your victories when using God's Word, using God's Word over any situation. I have seen God do lots of things by using His Word over certain situations and people. As we send forth God's Word in prayer, it will not return to him void. And so shall it be in your life. For God is faithful to his word and will listen and hasten to watch over his word to perform it. Isaiah 55 and 11 and Jeremiah 1 and 12. I have learned through the years not to speak the problems, but speak the answers and promises. Speak answers. Speak the promises of God. When you do this, it affirms everything in the natural, and it changes the atmosphere, it changes your situation, and it changes you. Then you start believing and looking straight at God for the victory. Here's an example. Talk answers. Don't talk negative. Don't talk this problem. Believe you have it when you use God's word. Not, oh, woe is me. Why, God, will I never be healed? God, your word tells us in Exodus 15 and 20, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, for I am the Lord God that heals you. God's word says in Psalm 41 and 3, the Lord will sustain him on his sickbed and his illness. Thou doest restore him to health. Thank you, God, for I believe that your word tells me and indeed, Lord, you will restore health to me, for that's what your word tells me. Isaiah 55 and 11, God says, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I've placed, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. In Jeremiah 1 and 12, the Lord said to me, You have seen well. For I am ready, and I am ready to perform my word. Believe, 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 believe for your healing. I want you to answer these questions that I have. I'm going to throw out to you right now. Will God violate his word? Will God break his covenant to us? Is sickness and disease bad? I'll tell you something. It is bad, sickness. Is healing good or mad? I'm telling you, healing is the best thing for a person. In James 4 and 17, it says this, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is a sin. Throughout the Bible, from Exodus to Revelation, God's word is true, for he is the Lord that heals you. God's will for us is to be healthy. Chosen to make a difference. Chosen to be significant. Lord God, in Jesus' name, for all the ones that are listening to this particular broadcast. God, there's some that's hurting in their bodies. There's some that has incurable diseases. There's some that has a broken heart. There's some that has depression. But God, your word says the anointing breaks off every yoke of bondage. So, Father, for that bondage that's on, these, on your people, we send forth your word according to your word in Psalm 107 and 20. We can send the word, and they're healed and delivered to those people that need your touch right now. God, your word tells us in Luke 18 and 27, the things impossible with men are possible with God. And God, your word says in Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be which goes forth. 
God, now as I stretch out my faith to all of these people that need a miracle, that need a healing in their body, now I ask you, God, for them to be lift their hands and receive from God. Receive that healing in your mind. Receive that healing in your body. Receive that healing in your throat. Receive that healing in your in your toes. Receive a new heart. Receive your ears opened. In Jesus' name. Let the fire of heaven touch you now. Let the fire of heaven touch you now. As you stretch out your hands toward this broadcast. I command complete healing. Complete healing. Because you've been chosen to be significant. You are going to stand out for God. My name is Dr. Barbara Jennison. You can write us at <clears throat> windofspirit at yahoo.com.